And I'm going to hand it directly over to Irene and Jenny, um, who will, uh, their bios can be found on the program page. So I'm not going to spend time doing that and let them get started. They have a fantastic presentation on really working on changing the culture of midwifery care and obstetrical care in China. No small task. So um, Irene, I'm going to send it to you. You to Meng. Oh. I'm going to introduce you to Meng, who is going to take over the first part. We've got a lot to cover. Uh, Meng's done, she's great, she's a very passionate midwife, and we're changing an entire system of maternity care that is led by midwives. So I hope you enjoy the presentation. And over to Meng. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm very happy. I'm Jenny. I'm uh, Meng Xue from uh, China. Okay, uh, this bit I uh, introduce my M MSF. Okay, Chinese philosophy plays an uh, important role in the provision of respect for maternity care. The modern maternity service system is women, baby, and family centered. Uh, we want to establish happiness in maternity units, develop, de deliver wisdom, and uh, ce celebrate childbirth. Wyoming's philosophy of Chinese traditional culture is the center of the MMSS. Maternity care works should keep their condition clear, have a love and a respect for life, and hold positive attitudes. Midwives and obstetrician hold a comprehensive ability to provide a holistic and uh, continuity of care service. Modern maternity service system philosophy is to uphold tradition, to support the natural ph physiological process of mother and baby. The MMFS framework is based up on providing respect for integrated maternity care. Chinese traditional medicine has been used for thousands of years. Before 1929, many obstetricians or homeopathy in America. 19 uh, here at MMSS, we integrate the old system with the modern system so that care is effective, reduces inter with uh, witness, inter witness, and uh, prevents many complications. Most importantly, this approach to care gives the women and the families voice and the choice in all matters. Health mother, a healthy mother, healthy babies and a healthy China. My body, my baby. To provide the holistic continuity and uh, pers uh, personalized service for mother and babies. In China, in China there are around 16 20 million on birth per year. 30 years ago in China midwifery lost its 
status as a professor. Midwives became nurses, and uh, this country lost its med uh, midwifery, midwives and uh, its midwifery education system. Good clinic, clinical midwifery skills were lost. In 1980, women were encouraged to deliver, deliver their babies in hospital because of the difference in regional cultures. The country did not establish a, establish a uni field standard, standard of midwifery. There were no longer any con, uh, con, community midwifery services. Midwife and uh, obstetricians all worked in the hospital setting. The broken chain became developing, uh, dependent up on the pregnant woman's pref, uh, so wants, press or wants. There is no effective ma management of the maternal system. In China, obstetric team at all the level of hospital have different models of med uh, maternity, uh, maternal and uh, infant services. Uh, some hospital midwives work only in the de uh, delivery room and are responsible for, um, for observing labor and de delivery. Some hospital midwives are only responsible for observing we observe we in the labor and the doctor takes the skates and deliver the baby. Some hospitals do not have midwives. Doctors are responsible for prenatal examination and delivery. In 2009, in 2010, the rates in China become the highest in the world. China has uh, reached the World Health Organization uh, million, new, uh, Millennium Goals. But in the global ranking, China still uh, be, behind uh, behind compared with the developing countries, we still have a long way to go. The midwifery provincial was ignored, ignored its war will, it's not uh, optimal. Workloads are uh, huge and uh, heavy. This produce, produce a great loss of midwifery. Uh, midwife. Midwife education is low in number. Midwifery training, haste and skills were lost. The medical intervention increases and uh, childbirth became a high-risk operation. In, 20, uh, in 2008, uh, with passing and under my initiative, we established 
China's first midwife, uh, or line, uh, or organization. China established the midwife website. This became an ad, uh, ad, academic exchange. Uh, plans former for midwives, the midwife and the nurse training school. Here they linked the advanced experience, experience and uh, physiology, a uh, philosophy of developing countries. Nurse and midwife linked to to do the duties duties of the World Healthy Organization gave a midwife midwife uh, responsible for the management of low risk women and uh, obstetrician is responsible for the management of the high risk women we inter, uh, in, in, we established MMSS. We have more than we have more than eighteen thousand members. Midwife uh, include uh, our midwives and uh, obstetrician and uh, pediatric uh, doctor. MMS. From work is they designed to be a woman, baby, and family centered system. MMSS supports respect for maternity care. MMSS complements China's culture and women's needs. There are pain modules. All modules share the same philosophy. The seven modules cover uh, theory, uh, theory. theory uh, evidence based uh, practice and uh, clinical skills. Three modules cover management. Man management skills, the ant pattern and uh, intra pattern and uh, post pattern services through interprofessional teamwork. As we con uh, continuity and uh, individualize the care, there are there are pros and uh, cons. To all things, China's the advantage comes from the fact that obstetrician and midwives are working in the same unit. They have a great will and passion to work together. No longer as the philosophy is the same, it is easy to promote the development of the MMSS module. Over the last 10 years, we have uh, treated treat the maternity teams in almost 100 hospitals. We opened the network teaching the school training more than 30,000 3, people a year. The government introduced a policy to support the development of midwifery, opened the midwife in un university course, the lower the lower C-section rate is evident. Midwives are coming to the forefront of care again. 
MMSS is a service module module that uh, shows the world that an integrated individual lines and the continuity of care system can reach. It is based upon, upon Chinese culture. Uh, next, I will uh, indu introduce. Uh, introduce MMSS. Uh, let the Erin uh, team go on. Thank you. Okay, I think Meng did a, m a marvelous job because two years ago uh, she could not speak any English. So I want to say, wow, she's doing an amazing job. So I'm going to take over from here. On the next slide, you're going to roughly see what the MMS module does. It starts from conception and goes through the entire system. And we also train obstetricians. And with that is an interprofessional team and we also include all the holistic practices from hypnotherapy, hypnobirthing, to massage, to homeopathy, and Chinese traditional medicine. It's a really awesome module. Sorry, it's just not clicking onto it. Okay. So again, we cover the, uh, the first point of call is the midwife, and the midwives will assess all the women, and then the care will be planned with the woman, and it will follow through the whole uh, the whole system. And they work together as a team because in China, the obstetricians and the midwives work very closely together. We're very I'm very fortunate to be here amongst all this passion. And once again, we start off with the uh, the appointment system, and we go through low risk, define low risk, high risk. But we take the woman's psychological aspects in hand, and we we uh, have a lot of consultation services without actually having to hand the women over. We've got lots of great support here, and you can see on here what we use to get high quality care. So once again, this is we set up the midwives clinic. So again, we have the booking visit, the planning of individualized care, monitoring growth and well-being of baby. Uh, again, individualized care, putting the woman first. It's quite amazing to see the communication skills of these midwives really, really uh, being able to communicate with women and explain the woman's physiology and what's happening with her and give her confidence to birth. So again, we have uh, we have the school, we have a public class, we have a very strong prenatal education. We teach all our healthcare providers to be first and foremost prenatal education, and we're all sending the same message. So our vision is uh, is to create a celebrated childbirth where women remain in control and reduce uh, postpartum uh, uh, depression. Because after all, it is a once or a twice in a lifetime event here, but maybe more so. We have a free positioning in birth. And uh, even though for some of you in our hospitals in New Zealand, we don't wear gowns. But unfortunately, we sometimes have government systems that haven't changed yet. But here we're celebrating a woman uh, delivering a squatting on the floor which is quite squatting on the bed changing positions it's a great thing to see here in china so we also have framework for breastfeeding where we use holistic practices chinese traditional medicine and the idea is to avoid pharmaceutical uh, preparations We have a great postpartum recovery here. I think it beats the world because there's lots of respect for postpartum care. Women can stay in hospital and they're truly supported uh, throughout the entire process. So this is a hospital that Meng uh, did a few years before I came. It was uh, up to 500 beds there were 14 nurses and midwives and she put the entire system into there and reduced the c-section rate 
And here we are, this is at Tian Dong. We're opening the project and cutting the ribbon. We're very excited. And when I stood up there and I had the whole team uh, uh, together with passion to make a change. And at this hospital, it's a traditional Chinese medicine hospital, so it's very open to holistic practices. So here we have the, the group, the teams. Uh, we have the professional team in Tian Dong together to give confidence in the training. The 10 modules, there are 10 expert lectures with theoretical part training. So we're all playing, we bring international experts and you can see our New Zealand Dr. Emma Parry up there. Uh, we have Ricardo Herbert Jones from Brazil. Uh, we have obstetricians who are also homeopaths on board and very holistic. So our clinical teaching is uh, the use of ultrasound and we're teaching midwives and obstetricians and we're also trying to reduce the technical interventions. Uh, positioning of baby and you can see me there sitting uh, showing the different birthing positions and demonstrating normal birth. So we've got the midwife uh, clinics here, we use charts, we've created our own educational tools, our charts, they're bright, they're colourful, and when we first got to the hospital, there was little communication at all with the women, and now we've got a beautiful, happy atmosphere where all the women's questions are answered no matter where she comes, whether it's in prenatal class, where it's prenatal education, there are health professionals teaching prenatal education supporting normal philosophy. So we have yoga and meditation and we have international experts coming to uh, teach us all how to do it. So the obstacles we had was removing fear about VBAG, it was uh, getting in there face to face, uh, bringing back the evidence-based practice and give it, being there and giving them confidence in helping make the right decisions, but most of all, observing birth, observing the normal process and learning from the woman and less from the machine. Uh, we continuous perineal suturing, you can see as they're demonstrating that, where the woman's pain-free, and helping the woman feel her own baby's position, and we get the partners and everyone to be involved too. So we allow the endorphins to work, the husband supporting, and we're training the husband how to accompany it. So we, uh, you know, we do have donors in remote areas of China where we don't have enough midwives, but we believe in teaching the, the husband, the family, and the support to do the doula work. And the midwife is the observant one there just to step in if something goes wrong and get it back on track, of course, with optimal positioning. So how to accompany the maternal and infant skin contact in C-section, we started that and of course uh, involving husbands too, they're now allowing husbands in. We're helping the team to improve management so that we're learning that one thing about China, there's no black and white and I love it here because it's not over regulated, we've got a lot of common sense and teamwork actually making the decisions. Assessment time and communicating, there's asking and doing and ways of exploring and having happy mothers and listening to the woman. And the midwives mastered training, uh, so this is the midwives actually holding their own midwife clinics and uh, showing the woman optimal positioning and working with flip charts. It's just amazing to see this turnaround in such a short time. I think we were about four or five months in Tiandong, weren't we, Jenny? Yes, yes. <clears throat> so the confidence and empowerment is uh, telling women I can birth and women choose where they birth, celebrating the outcomes, uh, well, the positions for birth. We've got beautiful... Uh, Tiandong's just getting its new hospital ready and Jenny and I went around picking the colours for the uh, the hospital, so we're actually going to sleep with colours on our mind. Yes. We did an uh, ECV, giving uh, the obstetricians confidence to do an ECV with ultrasound there, and this woman went on and had a normal baby. 
we was homeopathy to term breech babies and here we are the hospital's not quite ready it's just about getting ready this is the postpartum area at the end is the entrance to the delivery unit and we're trying to pick nice soft home like uh, colors this will be the uh, reception area downstairs in the hospital we picked the red desk because it reflects culture and we've designed uh, colors to go with that the women's health education class will have bureaus and there's plenty of room to use the pilates balls yoga balls and access to bring family and we want to bring the grandmothers and everyone else from the community in here this is the chinese characteristic postpartum ward this was designed by mms all the hospital mm. designs we've done so we're very proud that mms is designed by midwives for women from design from content of education all the way through it so we're very proud we're two amazing i'm so lucky to be here with with jenny doing this here we have a vip room uh, for women who do want opt to pay privately award waiting area postpartum recovery here we've got aromatherapy and massage for women after they've had their babies and it's something that the chinese women love because I know myself since being in China, I've had more massage and aromatherapy and traditional practices than I did in New Zealand. But I was looking in New Zealand too because my doctor is a Chinese traditional medicine practitioner. So we have infants' water care and exercise and massage <coughs> therapy rooms. So children from uh, birth all the way through uh, get water, massage, and touch therapy. And this is our team with their choosing the new uniforms. So they chose that they wanted the 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 the, the purpley colour, the, the lighter one to blend in, and we let them choose what they felt happy to be in. And here we are after a barbecue, the team full of strength, joy, and happiness to everyone. So you can contact us in the following way. We're looking for exceptional midwives or, or uh, healthcare providers who want to join us we have an international we have a, a large conference coming up in October if you want to come over and support us you can contact us at cnzcs8 at 163.com uh, and you can just uh, tab it to Jenny or myself so thank you Thank you. We're looking forward to your questions. That was fantastic. I know that we probably have a great deal of questions and um, maybe some input. We have a lot of comments for uh, Irene and Meng on the uh, comment side, just with lots of exclamations of how amazing it is. Um, so it would be great if people have questions. You can just type them into the um, box on the right absolutely we're, we're, we're more than happy to help and support because we, of course with with jenny and myself men, midwifery is our first passion and only well i've got many because i've got homeopathy too and the traditional therapies and i believe the midwives of the future won't need to prescribe pharmacology pharmacology we, we will be able to prevent complications by the use of holistic practitioner uh, holistic care yes yes can I ask um, you guys to give a little bit of a um, background of how you interfaced with the Chinese medical system to make such amazing changes in such a short period of time well it hasn't been easy you know we, we actually went out into the provinces because sometimes the cities are still quite Western uh, medicine you know, so we've, we found the experts across China and globally that supported us. And we found hospitals like Tiandong Hospital supporting us. So Tiandong is the history of this. It's we, we're putting in an entire system, a software system, management system, and we're launching it in June. We're actually going to develop the Holistic Midwifery Research Center there. Can you tell us one of the... One of the questions we have was um, how did you get started what was your first step 
how, how you two came together maybe well i actually wrote the book my body my baby and i was on linkedin and meng found me out of the blue and she says hey can you come and lecture in china and you know i would have my own practice and my a beautiful practice in new zealand but when she when I saw her passion and I came to China and the passion of the people, that was it. She, after uh, a few months, she says, right, come on over here and join me. So she did. She invited me here. and That's how we met. It was kind of, it's meant to be, you know, it's like, well, my surname's Chain and it's an anagram of China. So I think I must be meant to be here. Mm. Lovely. And there's a question also about whether the midwives do deliveries. and. Yes, the midwives do all do, do all the deliveries. Yes, in, in our hospitals, the midwives are in charge on delivery <coughs> units. They call the obstetrician if they have a problem. We are teasy. Well, China's a very big place, you know. It's about 10 countries in one, so we're getting it across China. And I think Jenny would like to answer this in to us uh, yes we have the the conference there uh, we've traveled up and down China and across it but there are many many more a lot of work still to go yeah that question was um, has the change been recognized in all the areas of China well that's what I'm saying no it's not in all areas of China because China is such a vast place and it's run by lots of different provinces so if you're in Shandong province you've got about 11 uh, million people and you've got one governor and then there's another governor in another province so it's not easy to uh, get directly into the into the major league of the government to you know to voice what we're doing but we've done lots of media uh, the hospitals have been supporting us so it's growing what types of midwifery training problems do we have for midwives midwives every year yes well <coughs> at the moment we don't have enough midwives so the, the types of yeah, we with MMS we kind of upskill and, and train the midwives because they're all trained as nurses first. The midwives that we train, Mid midwife. Yes, and we are upskilling the nurses to become midwives because that's the only route we have at the moment. Yes, uh, mid now midwife can uh, do midwifery uh, work. So the Chinese the government. Uh, Amy, uh, midwife, uh, midwife developing. <clears throat> so, China is open uh, country, uh, developing quickly. Uh, now, the midwife uh, is important in uh, support the family, uh, support the uh, family, woman and baby. So, um, next, uh, so we are. Um, we are growing and uh, changing. Yes, so it's hoping that, you know, Jenny works very closely with the China Union, the Confederation of Midwives. She has such a big, such a big, such a big support that, you know, uh, supporting the development, the few, thinking about the future development of midwifery. There's a huge team across China that's helping it grow. Yes. Uh, the Chinese environment uh, is better uh, for midwife training, for midwife working. Uh, yes. So uh, the the obstetrician, obstetrician uh, live uh, working with the midwife, midwife together. And we're hoping to develop this training based in based in a hospital setting, a hospital that has. Uh, the philosophies of normal supporting normal birth both in high and low risk so the training will be practical yes yes uh, the uh, government want to uh, uh, lose the uh, uh, c-sex risk uh, so uh, the midwife and the obstetrician together work hard to lose the c-sex 
And as we're saying before, we hope to have direct entry midwifery, but we're not ready in China yet for this. We're, you're very lucky in New Zealand and other countries where you have this. We don't have it here in China. Uh, so we're hoping that's going to happen, but we, yes, we, we do train the nurses in midwifery at the moment. Yes. So, Irene, uh, yeah, I can, uh, if you would just read the question. Yeah, I'm just going through them now because I've just answered the direct mid entry midwifery and now there's one about the Chinese people and the women's movement towards medicalization of birth and seeking midwifery care. Well, as I said, that the midwives are, you know, we, we, we're just building up midwifery here. So yes, we've got a lot of changes to do with the public, just as we had in New Zealand when we were obstetrically dominated before midwifery had its profession. So uh, a lot of we, so we are promoting midwifery care in the provinces and the hospitals that we're going to. So it takes time. I told Meng that I came two years ago, and it would take five years to see good changes. They're saying that when Sam Medical Unit will start a four-year direct entry, yes, midwifery program, yes. This eve, this this autumn. <coughs> You know this one, Jenny Benzao? <coughs> Can you answer that? Medical University. Direct entry midwifery education program. Uh, yeah, yes, Chinese. Uh, China have uh, uh, eight uh, universities. Eight universities. Yeah, for okay. uh, midwifery. Yes. Yes. Yes, so they have eight universities for midwifery, but the training is not holistic. Yes. And that's why we believe MMS working <laughs> together in the future will change it. Uh, not only went to me, uh, medical university. Yes, it's not, so it's not only when Benzao Medical University. Uh, there are a, there are a total of eight universities, according to Jenny, but she's in touch with uh, the some of the universities that teach the midwives. Yes, it. Uh, eight universities. Eight universities. Yes, yeah. aren't the time uh, 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 many uh, cities. That's right. Uh, yeah, Guangzhou, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, uh, Suzhou. Eight uh, uh, univers midwife universities. That's right, but yes. it's nowhere near <clears throat> enough to cover what China needs. So we have to rely on MMS to upskill the nurses and upskill yes. the midwives and the obstetricians and the entire team. So uh, MMFF is special, uh, put the nurse become uh, midwife yeah. uh, with the obstetrician together uh, working for, uh, so the woman and the baby uh, think the uh, Reach, uh, recall, recall the dental graph yes, it, dental and uh, good uh, education, uh, education and uh, support the family. Yes, other universities are supposed to admit their first classes. Yes, so that's what we're saying. We're we're aware of what is starting to happen, but the current situation is, like I said, we don't have enough. So MMS is focusing on on upskilling the midwives, the obstetricians, to be prepared for when these midwives come through. Yes. <clears throat> Any more questions? Fantastic. We do have a little bit of time for one more question, if anybody has another question for Irene and Meng. Sure. This question is, I see in many countries pregnant women are going first to obstetrician or OB doctors, and we see the rate of C-section has been increased. But in your case, it is the opposite? Yes, we're turning it down. We're, we're, we're removing the, we're, we're, we're integrating it. So we have the medical knowledge, but the, but the, 
but because we're so open to the holistic care and preventative uh, prenatal education, we are getting it, uh, we are reducing the C-section by, you know, the obstetricians are learning normal birth. I, I was teaching yesterday in, uh, in Qingzhong, and I was teaching the obstetricians, the hospital leaders, the pediatricians, the midwives and the nurses, and we're all moving our pelvis and learning about birth. So yes, we're, we, 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 we're having, the difference with MMS is that we have the entire philosophy with the whole system and the entire maternity service care providers, which is unique because it doesn't happen in many other countries. We've got obstetricians doing one thing, <clears throat> pediatricians doing another thing, midwives doing another thing, nurses doing another thing. And yet the, the, the knowledge and the training should be that universal philosophy of, of supporting normal birth and preventative care and working together, it's teamwork, and I think the future is into professional teams. Thank you so much. We do have a comment that I do want to share with you. It says, not a question, but sending congratulations. I think that this, this comment speaks for us all. Um, and best wishes to keep the great progress in women and holistic care moving forward across the whole of China. So I really yeah. thank, thank you too for, for, for the work you've done. Well, you know, thank you all too. I've just come back from New York and I've just recorded an online midwifery-led homeopathic course for midwives with the New York Academy, which is part of our training at MMS. So, but what we want is the midwives from around the world to join us. So any professional, any special project you have, anything you want us to share with China, you know, we can invite some of you to come to our conference. Come to Tian Dong and see what we do. You'll be very, very welcome. Uh, you know, we want to see midwives lead this and midwifery philosophy <clears throat> upheld everywhere. And, you know, Meng and I have such a passion for all you midwives. That's why we're here. You know, my family is all over the world and I can hardly get a chance to see them. So, you know, I want to thank you all for listening today and send you wonderful messages for. Uh, from Meng and I for this special day for Independent Day of the Midwives. So I'm going to say Midwives Rock. So on, on, and we look forward to hearing from you. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and... Um